Hey, so, hi. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm trying out for three parts today of the Hush Hush voiceover auditions. Yay. Um, so I'm trying out for Nora, who is definitely my preferred part, but you know, why not try out for others? I'm um, also trying out for V and Deborah. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled funny. I think. I've actually never seen this name spelt. So I should probably get to what I'm doing and see what happens. Alright, enjoy. Okay, this is for Nora. Line one. V told me you were a senior. How many times have you failed 10th grade? Once? Twice? Okay, line two. You seem to know a lot about me. More than you should. You seem to know exactly what to say to make me uncomfortable. Um, line three. I don't have a type. I'm not that narrow. Uh, line four. I didn't move. There was a glint to his eye that made me think I should be frightened of him. And I was. But that fright was equal part of lure. There was something extremely unsettling about being near him. In his presence. I didn't trust myself. Alright, so now I'm doing these lines. Line one. This is exactly why the school outlaws camera phones. Pictures of this in the e-zine would be the, all the evidence I'd need to get the Board of Education to axe biology. And then we'd have this hour to do something productive. Like receive one-on-one -on -one tutoring from cute upper-class guys. Line two. The senior transfer. Guess he didn't study hard enough the first time around. Or the second. Well, third time's the charm. Should Line three. I'm starting a petition to have the coach fired. What was up with class today? It was watered down porn. He practically had you and Pat on top of the lab table, horizontal, minus your clothes, doing the big deed. Line four. Mr. Green's sweater looks normal, but his wingman looks hardcore bad boy. Now I'm doing the lines of Debra or Debra or whatever her name is. You get the idea. You're an attractive girl. I imagine there must be some interest from the opposite sex. Line two. I don't mean to pry into your private life, Nora, but I thought I made myself perfectly clear concerning your involvement with Patch. I haven't stopped thinking about you. It wasn't easy getting down here. Luciana is making excuses for why I'm absent. I'm risking her future as well as my own. Don't you want to at least hear what I have to say? You think he has those feelings for you? All this time you thought, <laughs> he's not staying because he loves you? He wants to kill you.